Hello everyone and welcome back. This video will be about cutting gears on my mini mill Proxon MF70. Let's go! Since I have this uh, small Proxon, it was interesting for me, is it possible to cut a gears on this machine? And I know that uh, it's possible on the million machine in general, but uh, this one is too small. What you need to cut the gear is the gear cutter and some dividing head. As a dividing head, I could use my round table with the shirt. I could easily divide uh, anything um, within one degree or half a degree. Uh, so uh, with 36 tooths, I could easily cut the gear of 36 tooths, for example. Or smaller one with uh, two degrees per tooth. I want to try it out. I want to try with um, some small gear for uh, like less than 20 tooth with this cutter. And first of all, I need to make a holder for the cutter. It should be quite easy task. I will just take the piece of steel and do the holder. I'll start from this material. And this will be like an example. Uh, the same shaft, the same material, uh, the same sizes, but difference here to just hold the uh, cutter for the gears. I'm starting with this stock. I will clean it up and then rotate it. Then in one installation, I want to do, I want to do the shaft this side and most important, the place for uh, the cutter. That cutter is uh, completely aligned with the shaft. Now I will rotate the stock um, and cut everything from this side. I like it so much how this laser is working. So as you can see, it's uh, I, I was just rotate the stock and uh, I didn't feel the place at all where where it was cut from one side and from another side. So there is definitely some thousands just. Anyway. Let's continue. So, uh, outer part will be 35 millimeters, so I will need to cut a little bit more. I'll check now dimensions and we'll cut to the dimension of outer part uh, with uh, some gap for clean cuts, and then we'll cut the uh, shaft. Now I will do the place for cutter from this side uh, while I have enough of space here for uh, holding the entire part. So here I need a 22 millimeter uh, piece of shaft on the uh, um, size of four millimeter, on the depth of four millimeter. It could be the problem for me with uh, Mike there. 
but I will find the solution. Now I'm already very close to the dimensions I need. I have 15 uh, hundreds on the plus. So I will go now and cut them out as well. Let's check it one more time. Going inside with the calibers, locking them. And now I could check the calibers with the mic. And here it is. Now I will clean up all this mess and we'll continue with the shaft and facing of the tool. Also initially I was want to make the uh, uh, screw inside and uh, lock the uh, um, cutter with the screw. But I think I will do the threading over here and then we'll just use some nut that will hold this uh, cutter. Now I have another one idea. So I will just use the screw from this side. I will cut out this one and make like a washer and holding part. Should work, we'll see. So now I need to uh, cut this washer out and then I will uh, also cut a little bit uh, this shaft. Anyway, I have the centering point for the cutter already uh, that are accurate with the uh, shaft itself. But uh, here I will have uh, a kind of um, maybe not really 100% centered uh, uh, part, but uh, part for this washer. Okay, so cut it now. I'm almost always forget about chamfer before cutting something. So this time I wasn't. A 
I didn't have enough uh, clearance on the cutter to finish all the job. I saw one trick that I could try to use. I could move a little bit out this cutter. I don't know. Either I will broke the cutter itself, either I will finish there is just uh, like one or two millimeters left. Again, I'm doing something very wrong. I'm opening the loosening the cutter. And moving out the plate a little bit. Okay, something like this. I will need to be extremely careful with it. I'm almost sure that I will broke something. From this side, I will need to clean it up, uh, drill a little bit bigger hole because this one is five millimeters. I need uh, six millimeters at least uh, for M6 thread and yeah but anyway i'll continue now with this one a little bit more of cutting but not with this cutter Let's check now how it fits. The cutter itself fits quite nicely without any play. It's not super tight fit, but quite good. And this washer as well fits quite nicely. But now I have the gap over here much bigger than a cutter. So I will need to cut a little bit from the end. The gap here is uh, 5.4 millimeters, so I will need to cut out at least one half millimeter from over here. I will probably cut something like 1.6 or similar. Also, I will check where I am within my cutting. <laughs> Here it is. Now the chamfer. This part almost done, almost because last thing I need it's a uh, threading over here. <laughs> Let's have a look what I get after the cleaning looks pretty nice and the cutter actually should fit also quite nice so I have here place less than a cutter size and this is the tool next step will be on the milling machine now the most interesting point how it's gonna work I have the piece of uh, aluminium and I will try to do a thin tooth gear over here from this side. Why it in tools? Because uh, it will be easy for me to divide on my uh, dividing table. So I need just to move each time two degrees and this will be the place for the toss. I'll try to go for one millimeter depth 
on the first card. Uh, entire death I need it's uh, 2.5 millimeters so I will go for one millimeter then half half and uh, 0.25. How all of this uh, gonna work? Uh, let's see. Let's have a look. I made the first turn and it already looks like something similar to the gear. Now I need to cut a little bit uh, deeper. I don't know if that's correct or not, but I'm going one millimeter more. And then we'll be just finishing cut with uh, 0.25. Uh, let's go. Now I will do the finishing cut and hopefully I'm exactly in the dimensions that Model 1 gears should be. Looks like that's it. Now just a little bit of the burn and let's have a look on the result. Here's the result of the gear. This one is the gear from my lace and as you can see they are completely fits each other. So the profile is exactly like it should be. So my measurements was okay. This uh, gear is just an example and it will <laughs> very likely just stay on the table. Uh, but now I proved that uh, if I will really need, I could cut the gear. Um, I will probably make some divided attachment for uh, this table uh, that I could uh, cut different sizes of the gears, not only uh, something simple that I could uh, divide uh, just directly and just imagine this small machine could even cut the gears uh, okay these are the aluminium but very likely that uh, I will do the same with the steel uh, I wasn't try yet but I'm pretty sure that this will be possible that will be it for this video don't forget to subscribe and see you next time. Take care.